plugging numbers into the equation we have for the input impedance. We have Vn when Zl is infinity here is Z0 times infinity cosine beta d plus j z naught sine beta d all over z naught cosine beta d plus j infinity sine beta d. And we can simplify this to minus j z naught cotangent beta d. Examining this result, we see that z in is purely imaginary at all positions from the load. It is a pure reactance that varies with distance from the load. Let's plot this input impedance versus distance from the load. Here is the plot. From this figure, it is apparent that as we travel down the transmission line away from the load, the impedance repeats every half wavelength. Also, the impedance alternates between positive reactance and inductive reactance and negative reactance, capacitive reactance, as well as open circuits when Zn is infinity and short circuits when Zn is zero. As a side note about the positive and negative values being plotted here, from the capacitor voltage current um, capacitor voltage current equation, so that would be for the, the bottom half here, we can obtain the impedance. So V is equal to I over J omega C, which is equal to I times Z the impedance. So then we can recognize the impedance for the capacitor as being one over J omega C which if we multiply times j over j gives us minus j over omega c. This means that the impedance for a capacitor is negative, which is why the negative impedances in this figure are labeled as being capacitive. Similarly, if we rewrite the voltage current relation for an inductor, V is equal to j omega Li, which is equal to I times Z, we can recognize that Z is equal to J omega L. And this means that the impedance for an inductor is positive, which is why the positive impedances in this figure are labeled as being inductive. All right. Getting back to our design challenge, we have a transmission line with Z naught equals to 70 ohms. This is a real number, whereas the load for the new sensor antenna has a complex impedance, ZL equals 35 minus J 70 ohms. Maybe we can ask ourselves, is there something we could put between the end of our transmission line and the antenna to match the antenna and the transmission line? What do you think? 